E3 2013 treated us to some massive titles for both current and next-gen consoles. Here, we've pulled together our favourite trailers from this year's event for your viewing pleasure. Audiences just can't get enough of Watch Dogs, a fact Ubisoft is clearly aware of. E3 brought us a brand new CGI trailer and some awesome in-game footage, showing off more of Aiden Pierce's computer hacking skills, including the ability to black out an entire city. As expected, Battlefield 4's E3 spot was a relentless onslaught of flashing muzzles and thundering gunshots. Audiences also got to see some multiplayer action, which climaxed within an entire skyscraper being brought crashing to the ground. Audiences got their first glimpse of Destiny in action with a live PS4 demo, as well as a new trailer. Destiny is being developed by Bungie as part of a 10-year publishing deal with Activision, so expect great things when it finally hits consoles in 2014. Drive Club looks like it could be a real contender in the driving sim arena. Not only does it look great visually, but there also seems to be a big push on the social aspect. Gran Turismo 6 won't be making the jump to next gen, potentially leaving Drive Club in pole position in the PS4 racing circuit. The Xbox One keynote kicked off with a new Metal Gear Solid 5 trailer set in Afghanistan. Snake's next outing looks set to be another piece of epic storytelling, with a new Fox engine bringing spectacular looking environments and buckets of sneaking potential. Rise is no longer the first person connect game we saw back in 2011, but it looks just as brutal. Crytek's bloody hack and slash title sees you in control of a Roman general with an infantry at your beck and call. Ordering them to do your bidding and keychaining QTE executions look like the main focus of gameplay. Set 30 years after the events of Killzone 3, Shadow Force sees you fighting to stop a new war breaking out between the Vetkins and Helgast. The E3 trailer demoed new combat tactics and more of those pretty graphics. The E3 demo of Infamous Second Son gave us some actual gameplay, as well as some insight into the lead characters. While we're sure anti-hero Deslin Rowe will divide gamers' opinion, the latest in Sucker Punch's Superhuman series is showing potential for lots of grungy-themed flame-throwing fun. There wasn't a whole lot we could take away from the Halo 5 teaser, other than that Master Chief's armour is apparently not sand-resistant. The latest instalment in the series takes place after the events of Halo 4 and will form the second game in the Reclaimer trilogy. Hopefully, we'll hear more news soon. The Order 1886 is a brand new IP headed to PS4. Other than the alternate universe Victorian London setting, what also piqued our interest was that everything we saw was running in-engine in-game. Studio Ready at Dawn is best known for PSP games God of War, Chains of Olympus and Ghosts of Sparta. Another Xbox One exclusive, Dead Rising 3 features more tongue-in-cheek open-world zombie slaying. Vehicles look set to play a much bigger role this time round, and Capcom has said that the game world would be bigger than the first two titles combined. David Cage's latest brainchild has been described as a psychological action thriller, with A-list stars Ellen Page and Willem Dafoe taking centre stage. E3 added yet another layer to the deepening storyline, showing action-heavy segments in never-before-seen environments. The Assassin's Creed 4 demo was full of swashbuckling, swordplay and jungle stalking. The latest in the series sees players take on the role of Edward Kenway, a pirate trained by assassins. The game will span three main cities, including Havana, Kingston and Nassau, and promises both land and naval exploration. Yet another entry from Ubisoft, The Division is an MMO tactical shooter set in a near-future New York, brought to its knees by a devastating pandemic. It's coming to next-gen consoles in 2014 and looks unbelievably pretty. We'd heard whisperings that DICE was developing Battlefront 3, and at E3 our suspicions were confirmed. The teaser trailer was painfully short, but it was still enough to get us flustered. Battlefront 3 is being built on the Frostbite 3 engine, and that's pretty much all we know. Let us know your favourite picks from E3 2013 in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe.